Once upon a time, there were three little dictators. Stalin, Mussolini, and Hitler. They were all white, and they were all men, and they all had mustaches. Except for Mussolini. Stalin was the leader of the Soviet Union. A communist who controlled everyone equally. Even though his government was definitely corrupt, just like all the others. Mussolini was the leader of Italy, a fascist who believed that the interests of the government were more important than the rights of individuals. And finally, Hitler, a Nazi who believed everything bad that had ever happened to Germany was because of the Jews. All of these guys were violent and hateful, and their governments were totalitarian. Totali wow. What a bunch of interesting men. They obviously had a lot in common, but there were a few things different about each one. For example, Stalin. Sorry. Sta Sta Stalin? Stalin? Stalin. Stalin and Mussolini came into power in 1922, but Hitler didn't gain his power until much later. Stalin's rise to power began during the Russian Revolution, when those guys became communists and they changed their name to the Soviet Union. After all that, a guy named Vladimir Lenin uh, came into power and became the dictator until he died. Oh no, who will take his place? Don't mind if I do. Mussolini. Damn, look at that jawline. He came into power by creating a fascist government, gathering up a whole bunch of supporters, and demanding that the Prime Minister resign. After becoming Italy's 40th Prime Minister, he reorganized the government into a fascist dictatorship led by him. And finally, Hitler. The guy you might have heard about once or twice in your lifetime. He got his power from creating the German Workers' Party in 1919, later renamed the Nazi Party. He tried to overthrow the Republic in 1923, but went to jail instead. Then he touched onto his creative side and wrote a book. After a while, he was appointed to chancellor and um, people kept giving him more and more power until um, he became so powerful that he created a dictatorship. Whoops. Stalin was very, how do I put this? Communist. He believed in the classless society, that the government should own all property so that no one else could. And what happens when you disagree with him? Labor camps. Or death. Mussolini. Oh wait, I just learned that his first name is Benito, so I'm just gonna call him that from now on. So Benito created fascism, which basically means, okay, I'm your leader, and yes, I may be violent from time to time, and your rights don't matter that much to me, but you're cool with it, right? Just kidding, I don't care what you think. Just kidding, I do. If you oppose me, you will be beaten. Hitler had other plans. Well, yes, he was a fascist, but more so. He believed in Jews, or he believed against Jews. Yeah, he hated Jews and did bad stuff to them. So those are the little three dictators, and the, the big, the big bad dictators. Stalin, Benito, and Hitler were all very totalitarian. Did I get that right? And violent. They were all very scary and didn't care what their people had to say. But most importantly, they were all white and they were all men and they all had mustaches. Except for Benito. A fascist. A fascist who believed that the interests of the government were more important than the individual life. A fascist who believed that the... In the a fascist who believed that the individual- no. A fascist who believed that the- Oh my god. Sta Stalin's rise to power began during the Russian Revolution, when, um, when those guys became the Soviet- Stalin's rise to power be Stalin's rise to power began during the-, the, the began during the- Stalin's rise to power began- uh, after all- What are you doing? Don't move, don't like get funky, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, hit.